Hi, I'm Melissa, and this is The Book Break. And today I'm really excited to bring a sci-fi um, space opera author to you named Matt Wright. And I'm just going to bring him right in. Hi, Matt. Hi, Melissa. How so are you? I am excited because I actually meant to have you on the show a few months ago. We had some technical difficulties. So now you have even more books that we get to talk about. So yes. I'm going to tell our viewers. So Matt and I met because we were in the same um, master's program and we got our master's degree in publishing. And for your master's thesis, your solo project, Matt, you did a really awesome project. I hope it's okay. We're going to just chat about that for a quick second. Tell us about this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we were uh, supposed to take a novel from the public domain and uh, reissue it and, and create a new um, and edit it and create a new cover for it. And it was really fun. It was such a fun experience for me to, to take um, Jules Verne's uh, From the Earth to the Moon and Round the Moon, as which is actually two stories, and put them together into one volume. And it was such a great experience to, to go through all that. Yeah. And you added in, you know, some pictures to it that some of us who are even J Jules Verne fans had never even seen it. So for those of you that are watching this right now, check out these awesome images. And you have what, over 100 images throughout your book? It was a little closer to 60, 60 70 uh, Feels pictures, like 100. Yeah, that good. It felt like quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, and now you just had your own um, series debut. And let's show an image of Ruin Star. This is book one in the Sunmaker uh, series. And you're doing a really cool rapid release with this where viewers can, or readers can jump in and get one book. And then maybe a little bit later, just get the next book and a little bit later, get the next book. So tell us more about book one, the Ruin Star book. Yeah, absolutely. Ru uh, Ruin Star is a uh, story about several unique individuals who have this power called uh, over this uh, uh, power called Myrna that permeates the universe. And um, they use this power to fight against uh, evil and, and tyranny and to try and save the universe. And it's quite an epic kind of science fiction fantasy that spans galaxies and, and spans the universe, honestly. So, yeah. Yeah. And something I really liked about it, too, was it has that, um, you know, you have multiple characters in different areas that come together. But, for instance, one of your characters, he's in this, like, desolate town, and he kind of hates it there. But now he's 18, so he has to find a wife. And he's like, mm, I don't know about this. And then he helps the government official. And then he crosses paths with, like, a renegade girl who is mad because... Someone killed her best friend. And so you take these three different, and then one other guy that comes in and they're from totally different walks of life and somehow mm -hmm. they band together. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um, these are characters that I kind of uh, dreamt up over the past 10 years. Um, and they're characters who uh, I really like uh, they're just fascinating to me. And there's one character named Sina, and she's by far one of my favorite characters in the entire story. And she's she's a very strong individual who's had a lot of hardship over her life and is going to have a lot of hardship in her life. And she has to overcome all these, uh, these stigmas and um, all these bad things that are gonna happen to her, but she's, uh, she, she she has this attitude that she's going to keep going and never give up. So I think that's one of my favorite characters in the story. Yeah. I really liked her a lot too. And I think with all of these characters, um, I, I really like how magic or the Myrna of the world mm -hmm. comes into play in their lives because it comes into their lives. Like each of them have it play almost a different role in, mm -hmm. in their characters. Yeah. Um, so for Sina, she's a warrior and she uh, um, uses Myrna to protect people and, and to fight. Right. And um, Gunn, who's another one of the main characters, he's 
kind of this newcomer and he doesn't know anything about Myrna and he, uh, you know, he, he, he kind of gets stumbles upon this power and um, he wants to protect people too, but he's, he's very new to it. Um, then there's Ethan who only wants power. That's all he wants. And he wants Myrna and he wants to be the strongest and he wants to be the best. And so how they react to Myrna is really indicative of their, of their characters uh, and, and their character arcs overall. Yeah. And so this is book one of the Sunmaker mm -hmm. series. And how many books do you have planned for this series? There are six books planned. Um, the, the next one that's coming out is called Fury Fall. Uh, that one is coming out actually tomorrow, uh, the 26th of October. So that one's coming out. And then over the next few months, we've got the, the next uh, four coming out as well. So, yeah. Yeah. So I love that because for those of us that are big readers, we get to jump in and get through one book. And then, so I'm, I've made it through book one and now we've got book two coming out. So I'll be jumping into that one soon. And then we've got them all back to back, which is really fun. So yeah. Matt, you are, like you said, you're a writer and obviously mm -hmm. we met each other through Western Colorado University's master's, but you have an, an additional master's degree, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. so yes, tell us uh, about that because you are not just a regular writer. You're like a very academically accomplished and big reader yourself. Yeah. I mean, well, Thank you. Um, I, um, yeah, I got my master's degree in genre fiction uh, this uh, two, a couple years ago. And then I jumped right in and got a master's in publication, uh, publishing uh, at the same school at Western Colorado. And um, yeah, I, I thought that was the best, uh, best route for my career because um, I always wanted to be published and I wanted to see the other side of the industry rather than just be on my side as a writer who just saw, you know, uh, rejection letters all the time. I wanted to be on the other side. So it was quite an experience to learn uh, what it what it takes to be a publisher and especially a self publisher. Yeah. And so with your solo project for the publishing program with Jules Verne, why did you pick the Jules Verne book? Um, I chose Jules Verne because he is the f grandfather of modern science fiction, and I love science fiction. Um, I've always loved, you know, science fiction, fantasy, the spec speculative aspects of that, and and Jules Verne was the the grandfather of all that, and I and I love that, and so I I really wanted to do something that was in my genre, and and not outside of it, you know. Yeah, so. that's awesome. So if you could give advice to somebody that wants to get into the book publishing industry, what would be your advice? Um, my advice would be to never give up. Be tenacious um, because it's it's a hard industry. It, it, it's And also to be very adaptive uh, because it changes you know, by the month sometimes. And uh, you got to be, uh, got to roll with the punches and you got to be adaptive to the different changes that happen because uh, it, the industry will change, uh, you know, within the next 10 years, it's going to be something completely different maybe. So yeah, that would be my advice. Yeah, I agree. We jokingly sometimes say the only thing you can count on in, in publishing is change. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today, Matt. And I'm looking forward to jumping into your next book in the Sunmaker Saga. Thank you. And thank you to our viewers. We'll see you next time. Bye.